Hi, my name is Astrid Panningham. I'm a fashion designer with a specialty in sweaters and knitwear, and I have been a member of the Browser Guild for about two years now. I started working in V-Stitcher during the pandemic in order to better showcase my designs for my freelance clients. And coming from the knitwear industry, I've always had more of a technical brain, so working with V-Stitcher as well as Blender and Das 3 has opened up a lot of possibilities. And my tip today is showing you how to quickly and easily change the look of the shoes in the V-Stitcher closet so that you can match it to your outfit. Uh, for this expert tip, you will also need a photo editing program like Photoshop and the Blender program, which you can download for free. I've downloaded two new styles from the browser cloud library, which you can find here. I added prints, tulips with jacket and leggings, and now I would also like to add a pair of sneakers. The V-Stitcher closet has an easy pair of band sneakers, but I don't really like the checkerboard print. So I will change the old print into new colorful polka dot print. You will find all the shoes in your main browser folder, in the avatar folder under accessories and then shoes. You should make a copy of the folder into your working folder so that you don't touch the original files. I've already copied this folder onto my desktop and I'm now ready to start working with the file. Once you have done this, open the folder and you will see the FBX file that we use for Blender as well as the diffuse map JPEG image. As you can see, I already prepared my new diffuse map by opening the original file in Photoshop and changing the pattern and the colors. And now I'm able to open Blender and import the new sneaker FBX file. You can delete the cube that comes standard when opening a new Blender project. Then via the file menu, import the FBX shoe file. You might see a wrap around the shoe, which you can delete here. Now you can see the shape of the shoe and the old black and white print. In order to change the print, we will go into the shading menu and we will update the diffuse file. Delete the old image and add the new print file via the menu. The new print now will populate the shoe. Now you can export this new file as an FBX into your work folder. Go back to the stitcher and open the closet and add the shoe file. It will show up on the left side menu and then you can add the shoe back to the outfit. After fitting and saving the new shoe, they are now ready to match your outfit and you can render the scene. I hope you enjoyed this tip and create your own shoes for your outfit.